Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here, and today I'd like to speak to you about the five keys to create a successful self-hypnosis session. So if you'd like to hypnotize yourself to improve yourself for health, wealth, relationships, happiness, whatever you like, these are some of the most important keys you need to understand in order to do a successful session. So let's get started. One of the first things you need to understand is people are really busy. We get on that little hamster wheel. We're so busy living our lives that we don't take the time to have goals, to be able to plan our goals or to condition ourselves to attain our goals. So that brings me to the first important key and that is disconnecting. You need to disconnect from this busyness, this conscious mind and go into the subconscious mind. So simply by closing your eyes and taking a deep breath, you cut off about 80% of this busy activity, what we call beta activity, bringing you into the alpha state. Alpha is the beginning of relaxation, the beginning of hypnosis, the beginning of a lot of these, I guess you could say slower states where your mind begins to expand. So if you can close your eyes and take three deep breaths, concentrating on your breathing, letting go, you bring yourself to what we call the now. What is the now? It's what we call the alpha theta bridge. It's the borderline where you're in alpha, which is the lightest state of relaxation and going into theta, which is pure now. It's in the moment. And you know, the great thing about Theta is not only is it pure now, but it's also no stress. There's no stress in the now. Stress is in the past or in the future, but not now. You're not stressed about what's going on now. You're stressed about what's going to happen, okay? So that's the first step is disconnecting. The second one is Actually, I jumped ahead of myself. The second one is being in the now. Okay, the first one is disconnecting. Second one is being in the now. Because when you bring yourself into the now moment, that brings you, so, brings you into the subconscious, the alpha theta bridge. And that's where changes are made. And the beauty about being in the now, you don't have to be relaxed. You can be in the now and be walking, uh, you know, doing different tasks. You could even be in the now with your eyes open just by focusing on something. For instance, focus on this picture right behind me over here, okay, with the wolf. If you were to start describing that picture to somebody else and really getting into it, telling them it's a white wolf and he's halfway across the bridge, almost like if somebody were trying to draw it from you saying it, you brought yourself to the now moment. As you're involved or what's the word I'm looking for or you know really wrapped up into describing the picture you let go of what's going on in the past or the future and you brought yourself to now you brought yourself into no stress that is the hypnotizable area that's where you want to be so you don't need to relax you're not relaxed while you're describing the picture so that's great if you can bring yourself to now you don't have to worry about whether you're relaxed or not you're at the right place so disconnect, bring yourself to now, and then use your imagination. Okay, what is it? First of all, what is it that you want to do? Do you want to attract abundance to you? Then imagine yourself on a stage. That's one of the best ones, okay? Imagine yourself, let's say you're in a theater. You're sitting in this theater, imagining yourself on the stage. You're like separate. Imagine yourself on the stage being the goal you. So sit in that theater right now and imagine yourself on that stage how you'd like to be. If you want to attract abundance, imagine yourself attracting abundance and opportunity and everything good is like a magnet coming to you. People are giving you offers, you're getting checks in the mail, you're you know attracting whatever it is you want. If it's health you want, See yourself on that stage while you're sitting in the audience. See yourself healthy. See yourself already having attained the goal that you want, no matter what it is. Great relationships. See yourself with that great relationship. Use your imagination. The subconscious doesn't understand the difference between real or imagined. They hold the same value. That's why a lot of people can 
imagine doing things, let's say uh, practicing basketball, and even though they didn't get on the um, court, <laughs> even though they didn't get on the court, they still are just as practiced as the ones that are doing it real. It's amazing the tests they've done like this for comparing people actually doing something and imagine imagining doing it, okay? It holds the same value to the subconscious. So imagine yourself as successful. So number one, disconnect. Number two, bring yourself to present. Number three, use your imagination and see yourself on that stage as being successful. Now, here's something we haven't really spoken about much in the past, but it's so important. Number four, be emotional. Emotion is the key. Thought, look at thought as a vehicle. Look at imagination as the gasoline that you put in the vehicle to get that vehicle to move. And look at emotion as nitrous oxide, something you put in the gasoline to really give it superpower. Imagination activates, uh, excuse me, emotion activates your imagination. It makes it so much more stronger. It gets you there a lot quicker. See, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. I haven't had enough coffee. So much more stronger. <laughs> so much stronger. Ah, there we go. I'm emotional about my coffee. So, have emotion. <clears throat> now, think of your goal, whatever your goal is. While you're in hypnosis, don't come out of hypnosis, don't come out of your imagination training that you're doing until you're emotional about your goal. If you're not emotional about your goal, increase it, enhance it. Let's say you're you have a goal of making 100000 this year, and you feel good about it. And I go, get emotional about it. You go, uh, uh Would you be emotional for 200000 Well, yeah. Wow, that'd be great. Then there you go. Or being healthy. Okay, I want to be healthy. And you're not emotional about it. I want to be healthy and be able to run a marathon. Okay, I mean, keep things within a realm of what you can do. But make it bigger. Make your goal a little harder to reach. I guess if it's not exciting, you don't have anything to shoot towards. So make your goal exciting, maybe even a little scary. Will I make it? Okay, that gives you something to shoot towards. But get emotional. See yourself having attained that goal. And is that enhanced goal going to make you feel great? Imagine yourself having attained the 200000 or the 500000 or the million dollars. Now how do you feel about it, okay? So once you're emotional, now you have a true goal that you can attain. So that's the fourth step. So we got disconnect, we got bring yourself to the present, we have use your imagination to see yourself on the stage, and number four, get emotional. And number five is maintenance. You know, if you just have a goal for a day and let go, usually within about a week, it goes away. You need to use repetition. Repetition creates habit. It takes about 30 days to create a habit of doing something new. And you know it takes about 90 days to make it an automated habit that you don't even have to think of. It's just automatic already, already there. So if you are creating a habit of being wealthy, Okay, sure, you're going to be wealthy, you know how to do it, but if you've done it for, if you practice that same imagination training, that same self-hypnosis, seeing yourself on the stage as being successful for 90 days, it's going to be an automated habit. Everything you do, everywhere you go, you'll be attracting this abundance to you. So we need to create the maintenance by uh, habitually hypnotizing yourself, doing this short session, only has to be five to 10 minutes every day. Now, the thing is, you got emotional during your session, your first session. The trick is to keep that emotion with you throughout the day when you come out of hypnosis. So every time you think of your goal, so your goal is to have a great relationship. So when you get out of hypnosis, you think about your relationship that you already have, that it's so great because you just imagined it and you feel good. The next day you do your session and you think about your relationship and you feel great. You feel really ah, wonderful. And then about five o'clock in the afternoon, oh, 
I don't know. I start doubting it, okay? And that's where you need to replug yourself, okay? You need to disconnect and you need to do what we call a rehearsal. Rehearse the whole vision of yourself being on stage again. Get that emotion. See yourself as the goal you. Be emotional about it. So whenever the emotion goes away or you don't seem to feel it when you think about your goal, you need to rehearse. Okay, so you can call it a mental rehearsal. Rehearse yourself and get that emotion back. And the key is if you can continue being emotional and seeing yourself having been having attained your goal and you're emotional about it for 30 days, for the minimum of 30 days, you're going to create the habit. It's not a matter of how and if. It works. It's science. And if you don't believe me, there's a book called Psycho-Cybernetics. Go ahead and read that book by Maxwell Maltz. It'll teach you a lot about how the mind works in creating habits. And I get no commission, by the way. It's just a wonderful book. Anyway, so here we go. Number one, disconnect. Get yourself from the sub, uh, conscious mind to the subconscious. Number two, Bring yourself to the present. You don't need to relax, so don't worry. Oh, that wasn't relaxing. It doesn't matter. Number three, use your imagination. See yourself sitting in a movie theater, watching yourself on the screen. Or if you like stage better, watching yourself on the stage, whichever. As the goal you. Imagine it. That brings you to number four. Oops, four. <laughs> Got to be able to count. <laughs> More coffee. Number four is to get emotional about it. Number five, maintain that emotion. Maintain that session by hypnotizing yourself a minimum of every day for the next 30 days and continue for 90 days to make it a permanent automated habit. Now keep whatever it is you're hypnotizing yourself for, keep the same topic until you've attained that goal, that habit. What I mean is don't hypnotize yourself uh, for five days for relationships and, oh, I want to do it for health. Oh, I want to do it for wealth. Do one thing until you've attained it. Then once you've attained it and it's an automated habit, then go on to the next thing. Otherwise, you're just going to go right back to where you started, what we call falling off the wagon. You ever heard that before? So I hope those five keys or those five secrets uh, show you how to do self-hypnosis so much better than you may have done it before. Now, before I go, I want to let you know about a few really important things going on. Right now, we have a healing, a healing uh, hypnosis course. It's a, actually, it's a clinical healing hypnosis certification course. It's a four-day course, going to be from 9 o'clock to, I believe, 1 o'clock each day on the weekends and take a look below this video and you'll see our what's new page and that's where we have all our announcements but it's coming up we lowered the tuition made it very affordable people are already signing up and it's going to be taught on zoom i'll be seeing you there so that's one thing i want to let you know about <clears throat> go to our what's new <clears throat> excuse me Ice coffee. Go to our West New page and see we have a lot of other things. And rather than talking a lot about them, I'm just going to give you the list. Uh, so we have the healing course coming up. We're going to be having an in-house special starting today for the rest of the week. An in-house special on something you're really going to like. I'm not going to tell you what it is. As soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to go put it up. Actually, I'm going to put it up now. So by the time you see the video, it'll be up there. So we have a really great in-house special in the at the Watch New page below this video. And by the way, we get a lot of free stuff there too. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. We got a past life regression course coming up. It's a four-day. Uh, that's an all-day, like from 9 to 4 each day on weekends again. It's a past life regression and spiritual travel certification course. And by the way, our hypnosis instructor drive that we usually have in February, we missed because of the pandemic. Well, we're having it right now, and it's going on to the end of the month. So there's about another week for great savings on the hypnosis instructor course. You'll see the link below the video. Actually, it's on the What's New page. And there's a bunch of other stuff, but the last one I want to mention is 
last Wednesday, we had an open mic with Renny and Reluca, an open mic night, and it was done on Zoom and on YouTube, both. And it's talking about, it's just us getting together with a bunch of other people talking about hypnosis, talking about self-help. This last week, we got talking a tangent on alien abductions, okay? But it was pretty cool. We had a lot of fun, enjoyable, a lot of question and answer. We gave a lot of great tips to be able to help you to be more successful. And we even advertised one of the people over there uh, about doing, uh, she does actually hypnosis sessions and Reiki online. So if you want sessions, go over there and learn all about Marie and so we'd like to continue doing that we're going to do another one this Wednesday night at 7 and, and continually so if you have something you'd like to share with people uh, if you have a book you'd like to give away to advertise your site if you have a a site or a business you'd like to have advertised go ahead and email me you'll see my email uh, in the comments below the video email me and let me know what you have we'd love to have you come on and talk about it to all our followers and maybe it's something that can help them uh, or if you just like to chat come on and visit us you can come live on zoom or live on youtube the links are going to be in the you'll see a schedule of events below this video so I think I just about covered everything. I hope you enjoy the video and please give us a thumbs up and share this with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe on the link below and click that bell. So that way you can be notified when we have new things coming up. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day now. Bye bye.